What's up guys, it's Jim from Dog Hunt Fish Live. And we are doing a food plot. We cleared this area. This is a property line break here that I cleared earlier this year with the hydro mulcher. Came through, got it all cleared out. Goes up that way and then cuts back over to the house. And I came down in here and dissed this place up. There's a nice little uh, swamp bottom down through there that goes out the back of the property. There's a pond. There's a pond back off on the other property back that way, so they got sufficient water. <clears throat> and uh, so we put in some iron clay cow peas and oats, alfalfa, typical uh, deer food plot mix stuff, rye grasses, all that good stuff for ground cover, clovers, radish. And so what we're doing now is we're just watering it in because we don't have any place to get water because where we're at on the property, I devised this rig. So I've got my welder generator up there, power and a sump pump. And right now it's in the front tank, which is uh, dipotassium di potassium uh, phosphate. And so I'm spraying that down right now on top of the seeds. And then what I'm gonna do, because it's really hard ground, and hard to get the seed down in there even with disking it and plowing it, uh, I'm putting the hay on top. And that'll also help keep the birds from eating it and it'll help keep the moisture. The soil, when it gets wet, is a little bit more clay based, black clay dirt based. So I'm going to put that hay on there and that's going to help keep the birds and hopefully keep the moisture in the, in the ground. And all my stuff will spring up here in the next 30 days or so. Uh, back tank is just all water. So I've got about 250 gallons in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Oh, and I inoculated my clay peas. It's a 50 pound bag there. Inoculated them in the bucket. And uh, so, and I had to put up this bob wire so the dang cows don't get in here. They're getting into my other food plot and feeder over on the other side. So, what we're doing right now is just getting this dipotassium phosphate on the ground. So, I picked up this nozzle at Walmart for 18 bucks. And, uh, it works pretty darn awesome as you can see and I'm only running off of a one-third horsepower hang on put this up over the shoulder keep catching on things like that um, I'm only running a one-third horsepower sump pump in there so it's not like I'm using any big pumps or anything like that so I'm just watering all this down with this this stuff it works as a as a fertilizer, you know, it's hard to hard to try and film yourself when you're doing this kind of stuff. Matter of fact, I was sitting here doing it, and I was like, "Oh, you know, I should uh, make a video." Everybody's probably wondering why I haven't made any videos. Well, I've been working my butt off out here, and I got four food plots, and I'm trying to get all this ready for deer season. And so I haven't had a whole lot of free time. I have a bunch of videos on my phone that I need to pull off and put on here on my YouTube channel. But for now, I'm giving you this one because I remembered. So anyway, we're about done watering. We're going to shut that pump off so the welder can go down to just a typical idle. Shut this off. Like that. Fence. That's the front tank. Shut our breaker off. So the pump shuts off. I actually go ahead and pull the pump out. Put it in the water tank. You can pick these tanks up. I think I got both of these for 100 bucks. And uh, that one didn't have that stuff. It was actually dry and it was residual down inside. See, it's a lovely color. Um, it was just a re residual down in there. And then when I, this is gonna be fun actually. When I put water in it the other day, let's see if I can set this up. Probably not. When I put water in it the other day, <coughs> it turned to, it made it alive again. So we 
lid back on. We have to cut it out so the edge of the sump pump can get in there. Put the lid back on to so save everything from bouncing around too much. We had that, I bought that little oscillating sprinkler, but it just takes too much time. I'll just let that idle. Away. Eh, let's go ahead and shut it off. Put some hay out. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some hay out and then I will turn this back on and show you all what I got. We're out!